This is DC Dent and Croker Seder. It's the 16th of uh, October. And uh, yeah, wh where are all the birds? Where are they? Um, of course, Georg Schmidt is here. Uh, I don't see any of pigeons. What happened here? All our pigeons are gone. Where are all the pigeons? Wow, that's. I think it's the first time I've ever come and found no pigeons. Right? We're going to put down. Oh, here's some of our seeds still left here. Wow, someone must really be bothering me birds. Look at this. We have to be careful about putting anything uh, on the sidewalk because. The sweeper man is going to come. We'll just lay this right out here. Okay? The pigeons will find it. But where are the pigeons? Why are there no pigeons here? Could be that the uh, pigeon handler is finding out that uh, Georg Schmidt is poisoning his birds. And he's seeing a huge decrease in his birds. Right? Because where are they? Where are they? We're at slaughtering day. Right? He's keeping them in because he's slaughtering a number of them. We don't know, but look, they're not here today. But for the most part, there aren't any birds here today. I don't, I don't get it. Including, including our, uh, including our crows. So, we're going to go down, we're gonna throw our food down, no gulls, it's uh, after 7.30, right, it's after 7.30 here, but definitely something's going on, that's, that's really obvious, isn't it, by the way, we got a call from the movers last night, and uh, Oh, instead of showing up at 2 o'clock today, between 1 and 2, they said we're already here. We'd like to come over at 7 o'clock this morning. I had a doctor's appointment in the hospital, and I had to cancel again. Cancel a third time. And I was so much pain yesterday. Oh, God. We were up till midnight packing. Now, that's my grain yet for yesterday. I think that is my grain. I find it very strange. But then there's no birds here to eat it. That's what that means. Someone disrupted them, or they're not allowed to land here and eat it. Look at that. No birds. It's 7.30 in the morning. No birds. I know you can point your finger right over here, right at the shopping center in Georg Schmidt. What is going on here? What is going on? Wow. No seagulls. And you know, I was there at Auto shopping yesterday. The building that's been, that belongs to Auto Lane. The people who also, uh, poison birds and, uh, and shoot at them. Their manager there has his office there in the building where Otto is, which is which is a mixed lot of different merchandise. It's, re it's really a neat store. I love it. And I was there the other day looking at some things and wanted to bring back with me. And There are no birds there. There's not, no birds. And they don't even go anywhere near the building. They make a huge beeline around the building. I have to question why that is. Okay. So much rain left. This is not normal. Someone did something. These crows that are flying up in the air, they're from the park. 
and they're headed up to the agricultural. At one time, when I was living here, there was close to about 70 or 80 crows, at least, that flew from the park um, to the agricultural land. It was a different flock than this one. And now, there's probably no more than 10 or 15 birds. Where are they? Where are they? Okay. Where are the birds? Right? It's a good question. So the mover showed up today. Oh, I told him I had to feed the birds. And <laughs> what? Yeah, what birds? Where are the pigeons? What happened here? What happened here? Okay. Cats are all upset with all the moving around and furniture yesterday, all day yesterday. Um, yeah, it's been hard, really hard on all of us. We'll see if any birds come down. Millie raised such a fuss at the vet yesterday. We, I didn't want him to be sedated to take his blood, so we weren't able to uh, do a blood analysis on Millie. But we, we're gonna need one. But I guess from the seizure, he's just very hypersensitive right now. So it was a very hard day yesterday. And uh, the farmer showed up. Um, yesterday, I have that. I'll talk about that in the in the video, and we hightailed it out of here because he's crazy. That farmer attacked us about 10, 15 years ago. Oh, 10, 12 years ago. Sorry. Um, and so, yeah, we had to uh, abandon ship because we didn't want to uh, have him run us over with his tractor. So we had to feed the birds on the way back yesterday, but they were still here. They were still here waiting. But, well, I heard a few seagulls that showed up. Look at that. Okay, those are our black-headed gulls. Um, is that Seymour? Could be Seymour. But they're way up high. Look at that. I just don't trust the land. We got a couple of crows. But no pigeons, absolutely no pigeons. It's very strange. There's only three or four, five pigeons up on the ramp and that's it. And those must be our little local pigeons. The rest are all gone. So I think the pigeon handler is on to Georg Schmidt. If I knew a way of getting a hold of them, I tried to contact the uh, veterinary bureau but for privacy reasons, they would not give me uh, their, uh, their name so I could contact them about what's going on with their pigeons here and the shopping center. And it has been going on 14 years, documented poisoning of the pigeons, even have photos of their poisoning pigeoning device, okay? When I wrote the headquarters of Migros, uh, uh, after that, it was taken away. It was taken away. But they still, instead of poisoning them in the, in the uh, underground parking lot here, they now switched to the rooftop where I can't get to that. Anyway, this is DC Danton Pro Crusader. Gotta get back home. Uh, perhaps the movers are already there. Have a great uh, Wednesday. Love your birds, stay safe, and uh, fight the good fight. Do what you can for our for our lovely birds. And hopefully these little guys will land. Okay. I did my best to take care of them today and all this and all this chaos and the move. But uh, yeah. Hopefully they'll get down and get their food.
I will see you bright and early tomorrow morning. The movers will probably still be here. Uh, I doubt that they'll finish, uh, but they might. You never know. I hope so. Anyway, I shall see you tomorrow morning bright and early. Uh, this is DC Denton, Pro Crusader. Over and out.